So this brief tutorial will show you how to take an image sequence, so a sequence of still pictures that you've either taken with your DSLR camera or you've exported from an animation program, and you'll take those into Premiere, you'll set the frame rate, and you can make it into a video. So we'll start by just importing that sequence. And you note that I have a sequence of JPEGs here. They can be any type of image file. The main thing is that they all need to have the same name and they need to have a sequence number and the number needs to be complete. So you can't have any gaps. So what you'll do is you'll take the first image, select it, and then go down to options. And you want to make sure that this checkbox that says image sequence is checked. So that will tell the computer that you are looking for this full sequence of images with the same name rather than just one individual image. So click import. It's going to take that and it's going to use the default frame rate. This might be 2997 um, or you can reset the default frame rate. Sometimes you've worked at a different frame rate in your animation program or when you're animating stop motion. So let's say on this sequence we were working at 12 frames per second so we want to change this so it plays the correct speed that we were working at you do that by right clicking and then go to modify interpret footage all right and then up here you can see what the default frame rate is and then you can enter in any frame rate that you are intending this to be now you can see the frame rate is at 12 frames per second so we want to put this into a sequence and actually I'm going to put this into a 24 frame per second sequence because I am working at base 24, but my animation was, I used this little cheat where you can animate on twos by setting your frame rate to 12 frames per second and then have the com computer convert it to 24. So we're going to make a new sequence, file new sequence. And um, I generally go to the presets for a digital SLR, and that usually gives me a nice 1080p, 24 frame per second. If you want to adjust the settings, you can go to the custom settings, and you can make that a nice even 24. It really doesn't matter too much um, whether it's 2397 or 24, but I like to work in even numbers, so there we go. Okay, so now we just need to drag this um, and put it into the sequence. Here we go, insert, there it is. Zoom in so you can see that. Whoops, need to be selected here. Zoom in. All right, so here is our animation. So um, now what do we do? We're just gonna export this and then it's going to be a video format that we want it to be. So we'll go to File, Export, Media. That's gonna bring up the media encoder. And H.264, if you're just doing a video for the web, for Vimeo, YouTube, if you're turning it in for a class, H.264 is usually the best compression. Double check that you're exporting video and audio. You can choose where you want it to go. And you can, in the export dialog, you can double check that it's exporting as you want it to. So 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And you can go down and you can make any adjustments on your compression, um, your bit rate. And um, I usually bump this up just a little bit. Maybe use the maximum render quality if it's uh, a final video. And then you just hit export and it will export that video. All right, here we are. Here is our video that we made from a sequence of still images ready to go wherever it needs to go.